<laughs> cool. oh. It oh, is boy. definitely That's a good start. Minute. Holy That's God. a good start. <laughs> That's a good start. Oh, uh, shoot. Wow. Considering we're talking about like a horror game at some point, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. I think we'll find our content on the way. I, I thought you were going to yeah. win this, Michael. I thought I was going to what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, back for blood, Nathan. Yes, Back for Blood is coming out, and I am static like a 13-year-old girl going to a Justin Bieber concert. So it's going to be awesome. That's weird. I thought they just announced this like the other day when you told me, but it said the video was posted on uh, December 10th. Um, That's funny. Yeah, well, I think it's been announced for a couple years now. Like, Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Turtle Rock Studios, for for those listening and don't know, Turtle Rock Studios announced a new game, which has already been revealed, Back for Blood, and they were the original creators of Left 4 Dead back in 2008. Well, Valve bought out the IP to Left 4 Dead, and now um, since Valve kind of took over Left 4 Dead and Valve can't took count to three, Turtle Rock Studios is now coming out with their own type of game called Back for Blood. And I think, like you were saying, it's kind of like a, a comeback at Valve saying, like, hey, you can't count the three, so we're just going to skip three and go to four. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what it looks know. like to me. I, I'm pretty sure that's why they did that. Pretty much a slap in the face. Yeah. And basically, for well those well that not seen yet, yeah. it's, it's just Left 4 Dead 3. <laughs> I yeah. mean, honestly, you know. I'm so, excited, though, because, um, like I said, when I saw the gameplay... Uh, because I I really thought World War Z like I knew it was gonna be a different game. It's not gonna be anything like Left 4 Dead, but it was kind of like oh cool like this is gonna be everybody's kind of been wanting something like this. This would be cool. It's gonna kind of bring back those memories of Left 4 Dead games or at least that play style because we don't have a lot of third person shooters. And then yeah. I just remember playing and sure one we were playing it on console, <laughs> which sucks considering you would ex- expect something to run better and it ran horribly. <laughs> On PS4, um, mm-hmm. but I kind of expected that whole experience to be similar. And it really wasn't at all. So it's cool to yeah. see the, the gameplay on here. I, it, it's literally Left for Dead when you, when you watch it. It's literally Left for Dead, and the only thing I noticed that was different was just the hit markers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And what's really cool about it is so the game's going to be released um, on June twenty second of twenty twenty one. Hopefully, it doesn't get pushed back. It's going to be on the PlayStation Five, the PS4. Xbox Series XS, Xbox One consoles, and the PC. I'm praying that they don't have another Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you know, because all these new games are being released for the next gen. Mm. I, I think it's really inconsiderate that some of these companies aren't considering more <clears throat> of older gen. And just because a lot of people can't afford new consoles right away. So, like, for me, if they came out with all these games for the older consoles i'd be totally okay with that because i would still love to play on the older consoles because i can't really afford a new console at the moment but hopefully Mm -hmm. uh this game will live up to the hype and it's gonna be awesome i actually wrote about it today in our blog on all things nerd um about how i was so excited because back in 2008 when i was 14 years old I would stay up all night with my younger brother, Nolan, and we would play with our cousins on Xbox 360. And I remember just dumping hours and hours into the original Left 4 Dead, trying to get achievements, trying to beat Blood Harvest on Expert. I still can't do that to this day. (laughs) And just having so much fun doing that. And then when they actually announced a new game like Left 4 Dead, I'm like, holy crap. This is going to be awesome because it's like reliving my childhood or my teen years, you know. So I'm excited. It's going to be That's cool. going to be awesome, though. I'm watching the, yeah. uh, the gameplay trailer right now. It looks awesome. I think they're using like an AK that's in here. I, I do like that they did kind of change it, though, where it's because it, obviously, one, it's not a Valve shooter, so it's not going to be the same with uh, how animations work. Like this one really looks um, very smooth. Like it looks like, mm. like a Call of Duty style game, but just exactly. Left 4 Dead esque. I think that's yeah. going to make the gameplay a little more enjoyable. And what's funny is one thing that a lot of the original Left 4 Dead people... Okay, so when Turtle Rock Studios originally made Left 4 Dead, they came out with beta footage um, a while back. Mm-hmm. Well, 
when Valve took over the project, they basically gutted everything that Turtle Rock did and kind of put really? their own art and everything they want on it. Well, they didn't gut it completely. It was more of like they slapped their own like cartoony art on it, like right. that Valve does with games. So Valve oh, wanted to put their. That's right. Wait, didn't don't they have original texture packs you can install on Steam? Mm-hmm. And so oh, I forgot about that. Was in the original beta of Turtle Rock came out with Left 4 Dead. Reload animations were hugely different than you get with the guns now and a lot of and what's stupid is a lot of people complain about that even myself it just looked so much cooler when you reloaded a gun back in the day in the beta version than it did with the new you know left for dead how it is mm-hmm. now with valve so a lot of people are complaining they're like oh my gosh the beta looks way cooler than what we actually got right and so i think turtle rock is actually stepping out because if you notice in the gameplay trailer or the gameplay for the game now coming out you notice a lot of cool, like reloading weapon animations, right? And they, want, a lot of the fans and stuff, wanted that back. So just little details. That's pretty, that's cool, pretty cool, though. Yeah, I, I think it's cool because it's like they're really finally. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's what if it comes down to deals with companies. You know, maybe that they were kind of thinking of, oh, this is a good step. You know, make a lot of money. Uh, it'll be mm-hmm. good for us. But then that's where you kind of see how companies can initially screw over people because obviously they're taking up uh games because they're like all right this is gonna be a good game it'll make us a lot of money but that's only what they're there for they're just there for making the money they could care less about what gamers want what they need you'll, you'll see a lot of companies they don't even know what gamers want <laughs> you know they don't they don't listen like sometimes they'll even ask for uh input on games and it's almost like it just goes in and out one you know in uh in and out their ears they don't exactly they don't listen to what people even what what they're asking for. So right here, I feel like this is kind of their uh, second chance at being able to do something that they want to do. And you'll be able to see that with this game. One of the things I am praying that they keep is they bring back the original like split screen co-op they had in Left 4 Dead, the original. That's sick. I remember back in the day having so much fun, having so much fun, having so much fun, guys, (laughs) and having a lot of fun. Speaking uh, hard, so I English. <laughs> <laughs> having so much fun with my older, uh, sorry, younger brother that uh, we used to split screen back on the 360, and that was just so cool staying up online doing that. So I'm one of the features I hope they do bring back, just to have that kind of nostalgia factor of things like that to bring back. Mm-hmm. So, uh, is there anything new in this game that you wish you'll see that you didn't see in like Left 4 Dead 2 or Left 4 Dead 1? Mm. I don't know. I mean, because I feel like it's, I don't know what else they could do that's different in this mm. game. Like, for me, like, I could care less if there's anything really new. I just think it'd be cool just to play another, like, kind of like a revamped version of Left 4 Dead. Um, there's not really anything else I can, that I know well, what they could do different. Like, I, I find it fun just to go in, do missions, and then kill zombies. So yeah. it's, I don't really know what else they could do outside the box to do anything different because it's already really good as it is. I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Michael, you have anything to say on Back for Blood coming out? Um, I did watch that on uh, Facebook. Um, it, to me, uh, I hope it's as open world as, uh, let's say, Left for Dead. Like, you can't like you can go inside buildings and shit because sometimes uh with games they'll like you can't if there's like a box in front of a door you won't be able you won't be able to open the door mm-hmm. so i i play games like that i don't mind it but it's not something that i like I like being able to explore in a sense right i don't the- know i'm assuming they'll have objectives <clears throat> in this game and from there you'll you'll do them or whatever so I just hope they uh they make a fun zombie game. Yeah. That's honestly actually that's one thing I've always noticed about games that I've hated uh growing <laughs> growing up playing games was when uh which I get it when you make it a, a linear game, you have areas that are blocked off, but I've always hated that. Especially when it's just a little barrel or something that blocks you and your character's like, I, I can't jump over it. I always yeah. hated <laughs> games like that. Because some of the other areas outside of the map look super cool to explore. So it'd be, like you said, maybe if there's missions or, you know, maybe if it's a longer route to the end game 
or even if it leads to yeah. a, a dead end, I think it'd be cool to just let players do what they want to do, let them go where they want to go, take their time, and just kind of explore more. Yeah. You know what's funny? You bring up doors being blocked. In the original Left 4 Dead game, I remember when Versus mode came out and you could play the Infected, like that was a big deal. Mm-hmm. In the No Mercy campaign, I think it was the fourth level, if I'm correct, after you do the sewers, you get into the hospital. Well, when you take the elevator in the hospital and you go up after you do the zombie like time event where you're waiting for the elevator to get there, mm-hmm. you could play as one of the infected and you could climb on top and get and you could move this giant. Uh, it was like a what do you call like those um, like on construction buildings? They have like giant like light posts, but they're in like a generator. It's like a generator light. Oh, okay. Basically. Yeah, I know what you're talking you about. Could, of those in front of the elevator door and you would get the survivors actually stuck in the elevator and they couldn't get out oh wow <laughs> so you would pull them that way or they would have everything that's awesome exactly so yeah, you could pretty- literally just have hunters jump in the elevator and just kill them over time because <laughs> they would run out of gas when they couldn't do it again that's funny so i just one of the things so just back. like i had so much fun playing the game and it's just little memories like that. You know, you remember playing games like that and, and it yeah. just comes to mind. I just thought that was really funny. I totally forgot about that. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The biggest thought, like another thought that I've, uh, that we've talked about before was I feel like games these days too. Not, not that games are too realistic. Cause I think like me and Michael, we enjoy Daisy a lot. And like this, <laughs> this thing's on there where, you know, apparently my chick just decided to, get pregnant or something. I don't know. Cause like I said, she's just throwing up for some reason. But like with that game, it's, I feel like it's just so realistic where you, you think of some games on a basic level, you don't got to worry about being sick at all. You don't, you don't got to worry about um, like your magazines. You got to individually, you got to take the mag out of the gun. You got to refill the mag with ammo. Oh, yeah. Put that mag back in the gun. Um, I like <laughs> games that are, you know, realistic in, in that way. Um, but as in some some games, you look at like Left 4 Dead, that was the fun of classic games. Was It felt like a game. Nothing had to be realistic. Uh, I feel like you'll see some games today where they got to make something kind of realistic, whether it's graphics or, or something else. And sometimes you're kind of like, it's a game. <laughs> like It doesn't have to be this realistic. Like That's the fun of video games. Yeah. Uh, I, feel like, I definitely feel like there's something that's kind of lost in that over time that they haven't really really looked into or they've kind of stepped away from or maybe have just forgotten. But Left 4 Dead just kind of gives you that feeling like Tony Hawk, you know. Um, you'll you'll have games now where maybe gravity's turned up, you can't jump as high, or just everything has to be so realistic where, I don't know, I just, I just feel like that games aren't really games anymore. <laughs> they don't feel as fun. No, or as, yeah, goof, or as goofy. Like the player simulator <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much like i want to yeah. go away from my job escape reality and play a game i don't want to feel like it's you know life 2.0 yeah basically Some, like sometimes that. daisy's different but <laughs> EA yeah Star Wars. Mm-hmm. this is really cool though this, it definitely looks like a really cool game that i want to play oh, though i've purchased the high ground and again you can't get it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> This could be a whole other podcast topic, but like microtransactions and esports have destroyed video games, and that's yeah. just one of my. <laughs> actually, but that was another could... topic I added on here. Oh really? Yeah, I actually did. Uh, if you want to just move oh, on to that one, because that was my. Uh, we can segue into that one because uh, I was going to talk about cyberpunk, but I was thinking we could talk about BR since we were talking about that. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that was actually that actually kind of ties into what I was saying about things being a little too. Um, being too realistic. I, I feel like a lot of games today, that's kind of why we don't have these fun games like Left 4 Dead is we, for the past two years, and I love Battle Royales, like Apex is my favorite one. Um, Warzone, I've tried to get into. I just, I'm not a huge fan of Call of Duty, which is why I don't care for it that much. But all, all we've had over these last couple of years are just BR, just multiplayer games that have just been built around this competitive um, play style. Where mm-hmm. you don't you don't have a lot of games like this where you can go side by side whether it's couch co-op gaming like that's something we don't do ever anymore, and I understand because we have online gameplay, but I feel like 
I think the last game I played was Black Ops 2. One, one of the Call of Duties was, um, one of the Call of Duties, I can't remember which one it was, but they had on console, they had a split screen. But on PC, they don't have split screen built into the game, which which makes sense. But you can still plug in, um, you know, a controller. I think you could play the game on controller on PC. But all they have are just all these competitive games that don't have couch, uh, you know, co-op. Um, I, feel, I feel like that's something that I definitely missed. I would like to see a lot of uh, more companies bringing back. It's just kind of that choice, whether people use it or not. It would be cool if they left it in there. Yeah. Well, I think it would be cool to see more of you could buy things and games separately. Like, mm-hmm. I know it sounds like microtransactions, but I yeah. wish that you could. Like if call if a new Call of Duty game came out, I wish that you could purchase zombies separately from the main game and just play zombies if you wanted to. Like right. I wish more companies start doing that, just so you don't have make, to purchase make the game a whole cheaper in that sense, so you're not forking out that much. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. These games they're only gonna get more expensive. <clears throat> like uh, I was talking to a oh, GameStop yeah. employee, and uh, they were talking about, oh yeah, next gen games are gonna go up at least like ten dollars. So yeah, it's, it's like a normal game. Though. Sixty now it's going to be seventy. Mm. Or that's not even including like, tax. It was already it was already seventy with tax. For, yeah, for one game. Yeah, like, that's right. dude. And controllers are the same price. I I remember um, me and Shiloh. Um, I remember going to Walmart, uh, which doesn't even feel that long ago, but obviously it was because it was when they were still selling the PS2. I remember they used to mm-hmm. have those. Uh, they still sell them sometimes. But that was back when they had cheat code books they would sell uh, in oh, yeah, the store. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they would have cheat code Glass. books you, you can buy. They yeah. would have those guides for like walkthroughs that have secret areas. There are all these cool like little things you can buy uh, that yeah. now I feel like are only included in Ultimate Gold $20,000 editions <laughs> of games. So you got to fork out all yeah. this money. But before they had all that, I, I remember going to Walmart, $30 for a game, $20 for a controller. <laughs> and now you look fast forward. I don't know, 10, 15 years. And you see now it's $80 for a freaking game that most of the time I, and I understand the games got, have gotten way more complex with, uh, you know, design. You can but, do, and but it, yeah, like what you can do, I understand that, but they've also gotten better where, uh, I can't remember which car game it was, but it was something where the game kind of works per, to be procedurally generated. This is getting a little more nerdy, but the, you know, they've learned to fit more detail into games using less memory. You know, it's kind of like, mm. that's kind of thing. So they, they can do a lot, but it's not really straining computers. But I just don't understand how games now, it's like, it could be half-assed in a sense. And it's only, it's $80, but then it's broken for maybe the first couple months. Like I can understand. I, yeah. <laughs> like I understand they have these issues <laughs> and whatnot, and it takes time. But especially, you know, you look at Cyberpunk too, like on PC, it runs perfectly fine. I think it's just new gen. Yeah. Especially last gen. I mean, we'll get to that. But um, new gen, you know, it's kind of it's kind of busted. Um, I don't know, but it's like I, I just don't understand how games could be like so broken, but they expect this sort like certain dollar amount on the game, and it's so expensive. And then you look back where games were completed. Like that was the thing too. Is like on a PS2, you couldn't do automatic updates through the internet. You couldn't update the game, have the first day, you know, first year patch. And then your game's fixed. They had to have everything done, and I think that's something that's been lost is people aren't working as hard to get something done and ready on launch. Back to date. Yeah, like I, I could care less if you had to push a game back. Just push back till it's fixed. But when you set yeah, time frames, we set time so, frames because you could be lazy and update later on. I think that's kind of something that they've been lost and have you know relied on too much. Mm. What do you think? Well, it's like. It's like when games used to come as a whole package. Like, I remember when the original Star Wars Battlefront 2, mm-hmm. you got the whole game. You know, you got all the planets. You got every single playable character. You didn't have to fork out all this Microsoft or micro, right. Microsoft, microtransaction <laughs> bullcrap. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like, originally, microtransactions and esports have just ruined video games because... yeah. If you know those developers, they develop everything around competitive nature now. It's, mm-hmm. it's no more fun, you know. And everybody, every young kid or whatever now growing up thinks they can be the next Twitch streamer or the next yeah whatever. 
and they they don't there's no more like um there's no yeah. more fun well and, like i said I games aren't yeah like i said games aren't games anymore like everything so it's so uh surrounded by a competitive nature like you said that that's all which, you know like i said partially it's because of companies they are just forking out what people what the majority want which is competitive gaming and i, I do like that but when you focus mm-hmm. on it too much, that's kind of where, like I said, gaming is not really game anymore. All these games are built for people to basically make careers on Twitch, exactly. on YouTube to do that. So then it, it, now you have all these people that like everyone, I think everyone has the potential to, to, you know, do to become what they want to be, you know, whether that's a streamer or YouTuber, but I don't think everyone's going to make, it. everyone could do it. They're not going to make it. Yeah. But you have, but you have all these games that are, you kind of, um, allowing people to do that so you don't have all these fun little games everything's built around um for streamers exactly so it doesn't really necessarily make everything fun <laughs> hmm. i mean you can always make it what you you make it what you uh what you want it to be but of course you'll you'll have the majority of people wanting to be competitive you won't you'll right. get the casual players like say yeah. me i'm not not a hundred percent crazy at a game, but I'll sit there and right. play it like all damn day, like it's no one's business. Right, sure. And I, the joy and the fun in that, and that's yeah, I think that's what you you're saying is like it, it gets lost. Right, because it's not competitive. I'm not, not saying competitive in the sense of like a real ranking system with Apex or League of Legends. For me, I'm talking more about multiplayer PvP. The, oh, these yeah. are the kind of these are the kind of games that have been lost over time that people aren't making anymore. Like I'm still surprised that the, the games you know like you have CD Projekt Red making like Cyberpunk or The Witcher series. I'm surprised that people are still making single player games, and maybe that's just because those are the few people who enjoy those games themselves. But you don't have a lot of those games coming out, or like Tony Hawk or uh, Twisted Metal. You don't have a lot of those kind of games coming out because it's all surrounded by PvP competitive nature games. Exactly, which isn't bad, but I don't know. I just I feel like I feel like there's too many of those, so that's why it's kind of gotten stale. Yeah, at least for me. Unfortunately, which is why I've been enjoying Daisy. Like we 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 just rented that server for both of us. (laughs) Like I love PvP. I don't I don't mind it, but sometimes I like to just go around. Like we've been having a hell of a time. Sometimes just versing zombies. And just the like I said, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm scared and sick. <laughs> like I'm already battling you, nature you, itself, and I don't even have to worry about PvP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you guys it had did. any funny moments on DayZ or anything like that yet? Uh, um, I might have almost killed him today. Well. <laughs> I went to shoot a zombie, oh. and uh, the zombie kind of glitched to the side, and basically the zombie was like, "Hey, check this out." And he moved like two feet to the left, and I shot Michael in the back, and he blacked out for oh, a minute. Yeah. There was that, yeah. <laughs> so that That's might awesome. have happened. <laughs> Dude, that got scary, yeah, for a minute. I thought I killed him. Luckily, it wasn't a headshot, though. You would have been dead for sure. Uh, I was <laughs> you close, close. You would have been dead. <laughs> All right. I'm actually, I ate a piece of fat, and I made my character throw up and almost die. Like, my Ooh. cross was like. <laughs> Super low right now, and I—that's what—that's why I've been kind of quiet. I've mm. been focused on uh, surviving my character. Oh man! And so far, yeah, I know I'm not dead yet. That was a—that um, yeah, was another thing I want to talk about too. Was uh, I was watching Shroud a couple of days ago, and it was funny that he had mentioned it because it was already on my mind, and he had mentioned it in his video because I was—I was kind of like binge watching Daisy videos, and he was talking about yes. how he wonders why a lot of those games aren't being created. Um, and I'm curious if it's like companies, if they just aren't interested in making these games at all, or maybe if they just think people don't like them, because obviously you see Call of Duty as much as people hate on it, they're money makers, you know, the Call of Duty series, like it's, it's the thing that's going to make the most money. And obviously that makes sense. You have a business model, you know, you surround that about, you know, uh, surround that around your product. And if it's making money, why would you try something else? Yeah, you, if it's, you can you know, attract it's gonna work. anyone to play that game. Yeah, right. And so, but I'm curious though, like why are those games like Daisy, uh, The Forest? Uh, I mean, we have a newer one coming out, but they're oh, always yeah, but they're always independent companies 
great in those games. And I'm, I've always been curious why you don't have any AAA companies making these kind of games. Because I, I think they would, if you had AAA companies that have billions of dollars, that have they have the funding, they have the teams to be able to make something like that. I, I think we would see the best open world zombie games ever oh, if if they had worked on one. And, and I'm wondering why they they don't. You know why that is? Early access is a thing. True. Back, like you got to think back about six, seven years ago, there was a huge craze for open world zombie games like DayZ. Yeah. And remember yeah. how many like different spinoffs of like just oh yeah scam. Those kind of had, games there were. Did you have like? Yeah. I, remember, I remember they had that one company that kept changing their title, like the last yes. five years. They kept changing the title. We're like, dude, let's check this one out, and it was the same game, just different title, different splash art. And you're like, okay, oh boy, all right. So I don't That's think that like company really didn't make them. I think those kind of games just got a bad rap because of that. Maybe that's you why know, then. The access because mm-hmm. of how many scams there were. I mean, yeah. Those kind of games are technically not the hardest to make just because anybody could probably just go into Unity, slap a map in there, you know, learn a couple of like texture stuff here and there, drop a couple people in the game and then be like, hey, here's the world zombie game, you know? Right. So, I, I think that they were just too easy to make too and people could just too many scams and early access things and just get a bunch of money, early access, right. promise a whole dip bunch out. of stuff. <clears throat> dip out, yeah. Yeah, cash out, yeah. which is really sad. It's that's yeah. the world we live in, unfortunately. I remember, it's uh, just as bad. I remember the DayZ. The reason why that game had a bad rep, too, was it was, um, uh, I can't remember what his name was, I can't remember, but it was kind of like another uh, Brendan Green situation with like yes. PUBG, where not it wasn't even because he didn't know how to make a game. Dean Hall was his name, I think that's what it was. Dean Hall, so he was the one that was in charge of the DayZ uh, project. So Daisy has started on Arma. Arma was a multiplayer um, realism multiplayer simulator on PC. And so they have a couple mm-hmm. games out. It started on Arma 2, I believe. And it was a mod. And so it was, you know, the game was already open world, so it was perfect. You have all these guns. Uh, it's realism. Change the, you know, your attachments. Pretty, pretty much just the perfect, like, zombie open world game you'd want. Um, well, then the company themselves, they're like, hey, you know what? we want to make a standalone version. Everyone was like, dude, that's gonna be awesome. You don't have to worry about mods anymore. Uh, these small, you know, not saying rinky dink as in like, you know, the condescending, but you have these small people who aren't getting paid. They're not making money off of it because it's something one, they want to make. It's something that people want to do, but to hear that it was a full fledged company that wanted to make a standalone version of the game, make something really solid was exciting, but they did nothing to it. And then when the game, uh, the game was in the worst state it could be, I think it was year one or two. And they, oh no, it was before the game even came out. And they were talking about bringing the game to uh, Xbox One before the Xbox One even came out. So you're still on last gen talking about coming out with a game where you're getting, I don't know, 20, 30 frames on PC because it was that bad. And you had him talking about coming out with the game on Xbox and everyone was like... <laughs> Sure, sure, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know it was just cool. awful, and he ended up uh, leaving. He ended up leaving it. So you're like, cool. So you have the director who were, was that started the project to actually yeah. leave it and abandon it, and then I think working on something else. So then the game just stood there for like the last two years, and then did, didn't really even get anywhere good until I think last year or something. Mm. Um, and it didn't even come out to. Uh, what, what, frick, what is it again? You have early access, you have uh, alpha, beta, um, and the, what's it called after that again? It's when the game actually comes out, like a full release. Yeah. Mega? Yeah, mega, <laughs> mega, mega release. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that had happened. It was like six years later, and then the game finally came, quote unquote, came out, and it wasn't even in a better state it was. It was completely normal. Like, it was, it was its old state running horribly. So, but yeah... I don't know. Like, I, I feel like you can, if you had a AAA company like Activision or some other really top company, um, you know, like CD Projekt Red, I don't know if they really even focus on multiplayer games at all. But I think if you had a company that has the funding that they do and the capability with the workers that they have and the um, the resources, I think we could really see like something that we've never seen before 
with those kind of games. I think it could really go somewhere. I agree. Well, why doesn't the company like behind uh, Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, why don't they, like Rockstar, why don't they do? I think they could do a really good one. They specialize in open world. I think they could do a really good one. But maybe they just, well, I guess they kind of did, right? With with Red Dead Redemption, they had the zombie mode back in the day. Yeah, but was was it multiplayer though? I want to say they they included that later on. At first, it was just like a standalone type thing, which was really fun. Right. Remember, I have I still have the map hanging up on my wall from when the game came Mm. out. It came with, yeah, the poster. Oh yeah, because I know they did. uh, Because they did uh, State of Decay. That was the other thing. Right. But they. uh, But you never. But that's what I'm talking about. Is you never see top companies doing. Um, realism simulated kind of games like Daisy uh, or whatnot, yeah. um, which I feel like is fun. Maybe that's why people don't enjoy it it's because it's too complex. I like that mm-hmm. though, which is what drives me to want to play more of like Tarkov. Um, yeah, but too complex. But, like- but that's the thing is because I think they bank on casual and they bank on the uh, the simple minds of the gamer. You know, so you don't have Ooh, that- any, you don't have any of these sort of games coming out. Uh, which yeah. kind of sucks. So it's like they, they're never going to reach their full p- potential unless you have a company that has a lot of money, you know, um, you know, building into that to actually create it. I thought Undead Labs did State of Decay, not which one? I thought Undead Labs were the developer behind State of Decay, right? Uh, I could have swore no. it was Rockstar. Not Rockstar. It might not be. I don't know. You have to look it's it up. State then. Of Decay was the same as Red Dead. It was Rockstar then. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, because I, I just remember it was Rockstar. Yeah, right. yeah, there's a big mm. old R next to my map. I'm yeah. looking right at it. <laughs> and that one's kind of, yeah, and that one's kind of complex, but it's more of complex in the sense of crafting. Like, I feel like, um, I feel like crafting it kind of makes your game a little complex because you can, yeah, you can adds, do more. You're not just something. point and shoot. You, it adds another element to it, whether that's base building uh, and whatnot. Uh, but all those games that are a little more complex with base building or attachment systems, it's all independent companies doing those. Hmm. But I don't necessarily think it's because the player base is small and it's just kind of that niche like player base. I think there's a lot more people who enjoy those games. You just don't see anybody else making them but independent games. Yeah, this is true. Mm-hmm. This is um, I know that we were wanting to talk about Cyberpunk tonight. Yeah. And kind of why that went downhill a little bit um, with the last gen. Wait, so what happened and with I, that one then? Was it because it was last thought or what happened? So, so I know that Cyberpunk just got recalled yeah. on PlayStation Store. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I think some of the reason why some people were saying because of fraud a little bit, like, Mm. or a scam that Project Red actually came out with Cyberpunk on the last gen. But, which I understand why fans would be upset waiting for this game for about, what, in the seven years? Well, Mm. how many times pushed back and it should have been what they promised since? Exactly. And if you're going to come out with a game on next gen and last gen, you need to customize it for both. Like, that's not cool. You know, you, you, you can't you can't give people a half made <clears throat> product and they're trying to force run it on the last gen consoles. Yeah. And then also next gen and be like, oh, well, you know what? Sorry, it's supposed to be a next gen game. Then why release it for a last gen game? Right. It make yeah. It Dang, that's crazy. So it says that they had. Um... They had mentioned that they received eight million pre-orders of the game, and oh, I don't. I think God. that's. I think, dude. I think that's as a whole for all uh, platforms. It's but even then, God. it was eight million. So what had happened was that I'm reading up is it said that they uh, they didn't show uh, gameplay. Um, they didn't show any gameplay on other models like last gen. So it oh. just didn't, yeah. So they didn't. They didn't show that's any of those. Yeah, so it didn't oh, wow. give people the chance to be able to see if they wanted to buy the game or not because they didn't see how it was going to perform. So until they got the game, and then when they got it, they were like, "What is this?" <laughs> yeah, 
shiesty, shiesty. Yeah, which I mean, kind of sucks. But then again, like one, I don't know. I I feel like I mean, obviously, everyone's not going to have the money to buy something uh, like that. But for me, when I heard the game coming out, I didn't even expect it to even come out on on last gen. Yeah, because so, of how many times they said it was going to come out, and then right, finally PS Five comes out. They're yeah. not you. I would have thought they'd bring it to PS Four. Mm. Well, because when you look at a game like Cyberpunk and what it, what you can do in the game, how in depth it is, I was like, I automatically assumed you're not going to be able to even play this on last gen with with how good the game luck. was. Yeah, I was basically I was already thinking like, good luck. You're never going to. So it's all going to be PC. And then I was surprised they said next gen. I just, I just for some reason, didn't even think it was going to be a last gen because you'll see games even before this game came out. There's a lot of games I've seen um, that were only for PC and next gen. It didn't even say anything about last gen. So I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if you're if you're creating a game that's kind of that nuts, um, just don't even come out with last gen. Like as much as that sucks, but you got to do what you got to do because that would have been better than them having to deal with this whole situation <laughs> yeah, absolutely mm-hmm. so do you do you guys think that this will affect people's opinion on cyber uh or sorry on project Red? no no i don't because uh, i don't think so like so i don't think I don't it know. will i mean it's it's a mistake but i mean you can't really fault them where Sure, it's kind of like, like I said, not everyone's going to have the money to buy something better. You know, if you don't, because mm-hmm. I, I feel like you'll have some of those people that kind of, you know, they'll, they'll say, oh, well, then you should have, you should just have the money for, for the next gen, you should buy something better. But if you're creating something that's <laughs> essentially for next yeah. gen, that's kind of your only other option is you just want to yeah. be able to play it. <laughs> so that's uh, my thought. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, they'll, they'll yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll get you know they'll get people kind of that that are angry at them, but I don't think it's going to be anything detrimental to their company. Yeah, no, they'll be they more do. upset. Of course, the company will try to fix right their wrongs in a sense, yeah. hopefully. Because PC has like no issues, and that's because of the capabilities of the um, of the platform. Like the game wasn't buggy because they just didn't decide to even fix anything on it. So it's not like it was the game itself. It's not like like how Daisy came out and it was horrible in the beginning. That's because the game just wasn't optimized. It wasn't because um, PCs. PCs ran other games a lot better. It was just because of the game itself. With this, it's not the game. It's the platform. That's why it couldn't well, run that well. The only reason I asked that question too is because the game community is pretty like pretty bad. Like yeah. They will oh, yeah. really They'll tear you apart. Mm-hmm. Who, for instance, look at uh, Diablo with Blizzard, and they're like, when they announced Diablo Immortal, well, do you not have phones? You know that was hilarious. <laughs> that ruined it for people, and they're like, oh well, we don't trust Blizzard anymore. What, and then you guys also, don't have cell phones. That, we all see what happened to the Fallout series with Fallout mm-hmm. seventy six and how big of a mess that was. So now was a game gone to shit. Yeah, and so now Project Red, I think, has screwed up pretty big. <laughs> last gen crap so i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens i mean like you said obviously people gotta know it's just a mistake but a yeah. seven year mistake yeah, mm-hmm. i don't know about this yeah. yeah expect people to be angry about it you know yeah mm-hmm. but like i said I, I think like i think the better option would have been don't make it for last gen because mm-hmm. the because the whole game is built around one the visuals it's supposed to look mm-hmm. pretty they're not making something Obviously, if they're gonna make it for last gen, that's the thing. Is if you're not a con or if you're not a PC player, I, I noticed a lot of people that play it on console. They don't know about performance. Like they don't realize you have to dumb down resolution. You have to dumb down text, texture resolution. You have to take a lot of you know visual uh, processing away to make the game even run better. And then so then All they right. kind of wonder why. Why does this game look like crap? I paid sixty dollars for this, but it's like well, you're playing on a PS4 that can barely still run like Apex. It could barely still run at sixty FPS constant. So it's you know people just they just hear when the game first comes out or the consoles it says sixty FPS, but you're like you're it's not gonna run that way. And it depends yeah. if the game 
can run like the the console can run at 60 they just don't make it to to really do that it's it, just, it comes down to performance so i think half of it's because of that they created something that just can't run on that and to be able to do that you're gonna have to take things away which is gonna piss people off more so it would have been better if they just came out with it on new gen and pc and just leave uh last gen out of it as much as that sucks but it's better to get game better it's better to do that game. than to screw over people and then get them this yeah. pissed when you actually come out with something that you didn't even show people or test it oh trust me they'll, they'll still be able to sleep at night but yeah like yeah <laughs> you're gonna be able to like if you're gonna promise something make sure like your promise yep. is fulfilled and yeah it's not half-assed <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and it's also better to, it's better to just tell people no than to you know um uh, lead them on lead, yeah then just to, you know lead them on so i know a lot about that <laughs> I was just gonna so, say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay I'm, how do i leave this call have you guys is, seen that meme this is real Where time is with caleb welcome to the uh the new podcast i'll be on my other channel at lonelycaleb.com yeah. <laughs> only <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, that meme where it's the pirates of the caribbean and the, the guys they're about to get like hanged or whatever mm-hmm. and it's like uh, blizzard and bethesda and then like project red is like our in community usually this upset and they're like oh you're new around here huh yeah. <laughs> first time <laughs> yeah, first oh is time. that uh, that's James that movie Franco. Like a bunch of different stories. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Brother God. from <laughs> This is the End of Yeah, some shit like that. Dude, these people yeah. are horrible first time. <laughs> first yeah, time? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's literally it. God, that's awful. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I don't know how Cyberpunk's going to unfold, but it should be interesting. Yeah, we'll see, though. I, th- I think they're fine. For the most part, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be yeah. anything, you know, detrimental on their end. Pe- people will get over it. Yeah, my next hopefully. Question, mm-hmm. When are we going to play Skyrim on the refrigerator? That's what I want to know. Oh, dude! Speaking of Skyrim, um, I'm still pissed that they uh, that they didn't come out with the multiplayer mod for that. Oh, they never did. So, so what had happened was they were like, for I think it was for a couple of years. Like, guys, we're working on this uh, Skyrim mod. So it's only available right now for the the people working on it just because we want to make sure the game is completely fixed. You know, we want zero issues at all. Understandable. You know, totally cool. Right before it comes out, they go, no, this is only for us. We're only going to play it. Just us. It's never going to come out in the world. That's literally what they did. Yeah, that's literally what they did. Yeah. And everyone was like, huh? (laughs) You literally hyped this up. Show everyone, Could. but then you say then you're just gonna keep it for yourself and your friends because f oh. people. How long are you yeah. gonna milk that game for? Um, forever. Because they've literally killed every single console yep. you can think of. Yep. I mean, when you have I'm something waiting. that people love that much, I mean, why not? Like I said, same thing as Call of Duty. Game Boy Color edition. <laughs> <laughs> Be awesome. I'm surprised they even came out with that game on the Switch. Yeah. Just waiting for um iPhone version. <laughs> oh, sure. Already been done. Yeah. Um, done and Yeah, done and done. <laughs> well, I think that was it with our topic, so Yeah. No, that's that's cool. Um I'm excited for this nice game to... though. This uh Back for Blood's gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah. Back for Blood's amazing. <clears throat> Wait. So, oh yeah, D- did I mention when it's coming out and all that? Did I say all that? Yeah, I think I said that Tuesday. Right? I think I said it was June twenty second uh, next year, twenty twenty one. If anybody's listening, if you haven't yet, you can actually go on the back for back for blood dot com website, their official website from Total Rock, and you can sign up for the uh, closed alpha testing. Um, obviously, always like that, a key is not guaranteed, <clears throat> but. You can go sign up and see if you get one in your email. That's what that, I'm waiting for. Is that going on now? It. To be able to play, like, if you get a key, is that, like, now? Or yeah, it's did, like they, the did they say one? 18th through the 30th, I think. Ooh, okay. 
Oh, of, so the, of this month? There tomorrow get one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we find one then. I wonder if we'll be able game- to record a gameplay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping so. I'm really praying we yeah. can get a key. So you probably play. you probably can though. Um, I wonder if you can stream it or uh, record it then to YouTube because like it. they've showed the gameplay here always, in this video. I always feel like you always get a key and I never do. <laughs> yeah, or you get a key that. and then I don't. Yeah, it's always one or the other. That sucks. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I mean, we'll just share it. <laughs> just play it with the randos online. Hey, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw Molotovs at you. <laughs> all righty um but yeah i mean we'll be doing another podcast uh next uh we'll next be. weekend try and do those every saturday or so yeah. so we'll see what other whether there's more news on this or uh something else it's good to be back so, yeah we'll do another one i'm excited yeah it'll be fun i've always enjoyed podcasting <clears throat> i've never pod period casted before but uh it's not half bad period period casted <laughs> <laughs> never <catch up> before. <laughs> well, everyone's gonna be uh come back then. You can hear Michael say five words. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I'm a man of few words. It, it might only be five, but it'll be the best words you've heard. Oh yes. The words full of inspiration. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you potato. <laughs> you potato <laughs> Something like that. Full uh, of love and that was only four words so oh you got you got one more you want to save for the next podcast or oh 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 it it rolls over so you'll get six okay okay yeah Yeah. that was sorry (laughs) it it builds up (laughs) roll over basically Uh, you roll over over (laughs) i'm just just drying apples right now i didn't know you could dry apples and you can eat them can you make them look but they're pristine. They're just dried. They just look rotten as shit. <laughs> so I got a bunch of apples right now. What's up, man? All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good night, everyone. All righty. We'll see you then. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.